I don't know what this is meant to be. Checkerboard and... Well, I remember you. Checkerboard and some signage. Ah, you are a chaser, and you appear to have caught me. Huh, at least this one's fun. One aspects of this game I do find quite aggravating. Especially when you have to travel so far to get to certain worlds and then just get all of your progress just straight up undone. Oh, I've gone to apparently 2% more worlds. Oh, what else have we got? Is this different? It is. Hmm. Right. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I assume that those toilet headed fellas are not something I want to be playing with. Oh, oh I like that. I think I think that is an effect in the game as well. He's going to jump out at me, right? Oh, okay, I was supposed to glide. Right, okay. I don't know, looks less like a penguin and more like a prinny. Really sure what to make of that. But I may go back to the dream apartment. Well, it counts as some clearance. Okay, so what else do you have? Even just the acts of the computer being gone feels strange. Yep. That's what I remember. And then there's just like a big apartment block, right? I go out there. Right, well, I'm not going to play the game again, so let's go. Maybe this is why Madatsuki uh, never left. in the process of moving house, just seeing all that stuff stacked up in there is just filling me with ennui. Oh, <sighs> uh, can't interact with the door. Oh, that's hard to look at. That's cute. Oh, okay, there's a chair, right? Uh, okay. I don't know if that error is because I'm genuinely missing some images, or if it's just a, a side effect of easy RPG, but uh, I did try to, uh, try to do things... Oh, that's cute, but sad. I tried to do things the correct way, and... Uh, go and, you know, set the, the language settings and all the rest of that stuff that you have to do to install this thing. Um, but uh, then I uh, got this thing stuck on Japanese and very nearly couldn't get it out, and uh, that would have been quite bad. So I thought it might be uh, better to take the easy option. I like this a lot, though. It's very friendly. I don't like depictions of things being sad. I don't know, it just... Like, I, I, I have a really strongly, uh, strange, strong emotional reaction to seeing, you know, when you go to a hospital and they give you those pain charts and it's like, 
you know, indicate using the faces how bad your pain feels on a scale of one to ten, and like you know, the the, the one that's at ten is just this person that's absolutely wailing, and I can't look at them. It, they just upset me, and I don't know why. I don't really consider myself that empathetic a person, but for some reason, pictures of people crying really set me off. Mm. Anyway. It feels like that. Okay, so there's the old canvas world again. Oh, the, the art gallery, or whatever you'd call it. Something else. That pink to thing. Did I explore this one the last time I came here? Was this a one-way trip? Yeah, I might leave that one alone. I think I've already been there. Of course I've been there. It's, it's a monochrome world. I mean, I, I just I like the monochrome worlds. Okay, so that leads back to the garden world, which means that's probably how we got in in the first place. So, what looks like a cityscape, monochrome place again, sphincter thing, clouds. Uh, what's this? Oh, I remember you, and if I cut you, it splashes red on the canvas, right? Too good about killing you. Okay, so that leads to Pokemon World. Found a couple of ways in there. This looks promising. Oh, now this is cool. I'm going to get a, just a little bit experimental with format. Okay. I know I'm a programmer, but I don't speak uh, old style Philips arcade noises. This reminds me of the uh, sort of the era of um, sort of like BBC micro games where everything was, was all really bleepy bloopy. Yep. Now here into a blood pool. I'm not feeling very welcome here. Otherwise, I think this is just sort of a hub area, I suppose. Not one of the more interesting ones, is it? So while I do appreciate a bit of a change of format, I don't really care for the diagonal uh, navigation. Oh, hey, now we're talking. A remix. Ah, oh, okay. The uh, Kind of looks like what it looks, uh, what I see when I've rubbed my eyes too hard. I like a road that gives me something to use as a navigation aid. I think this is one of the. Yeah, okay. This is one of the original Nexus worlds. Probably means it links over to like three more worlds. How you get to be a Nexus world in this project? I mean, are they reserved for particularly interesting ideas, or do you just get kind of thrown in at random? Or I don't really know what working on this project actually entails. 
I'd contribute, but I don't have any artistic ability, really. I don't have the imagination. I mean, I also don't speak enough Japanese to really uh, be able to communicate. Although I'm sure they've got some English speakers these days. Or some Japanese people that can speak huh, okay. sufficient English that I would be okay. Mm. The last time around, I have been learning a little bit, but uh, it's it's pretty slow going. I haven't been uh, haven't been keeping up with my studies, which means that Duolingo is probably about to come and kick my door in. But uh, we've had the uh, had the trip to go up. I've seen this before. We've had the trip to Japan planned now for about two years, and uh, they've only just uh, released the uh, the COVID restrictions. Relaxed them anyway, so uh, we didn't actually think it was going to be going ahead. So it's. Uh, it is nice, although we've had to uh, make arrangements for the trip at fairly short notice, but luckily we've been going through a tour operator who's been handling such things. The thing I'm worried about now is how I'm going to handle the, uh, the flight, because, uh, my God, it's going to be long. <laughs> I think it's eight hours followed by seven hours, and then on the way back, same again, but with the uh, eight-hour layover in Singapore, which is going to be all kinds of... Actually, I wouldn't mind seeing a little bit of Singapore, but I get the feeling that with eight hours, you know, you don't get to uh, witness much of it. Just after being on the plane for that long, I might just want to find something to eat and then go to sleep. Okay. Oh, it's you again. Hi. Hi. Oh. So that just accentuates the nipples. Hmm. Really wish that when I discovered an NPC in this and didn't seem to have any appreciable way of interacting with them, my immediate thought wasn't, well, I better try and kill this one. Let's just see if that works. I shouldn't have picked up the chainsaw. I don't think it really does me much good. It's just giving me some bad ideas. I thought there might be a way to sneak through the top. Not sure. Is that one broken anyway? There's a way through here, and then you can go kind of up and round, and I thought there was like what looked like a route at the top. I don't know where I thought it would take me. Maybe just retreading on ground here, actually, and then if I am, then I apologise. Yes, I am. So I apologise. <laughs> area I thought I was looking at actually is. Well, moving on. Oh. So I just straight back again. I really feel like there was meant to be more to that, and I hope I've not missed something. I mean, there's almost certainly something I'm missing in here. It's a deeply strange world. I'm sure that I did something to make you change colour, but I don't know what. Oh, okay, there were just some different versions of you. I can't kill them. Well, there's a hole. 
But that was how I got in here in the first place. Uh, so it's this again. Well, let's go back to where we were. See what we can find. Mm. Who even knows? I've seen... I've seen some, some linked wiki pages that seem to suggest some really interesting looking worlds. Don't know what's going on down there, or up here. Can't seem to interact with that. Don't know if that's meant to be like a little pool, or a, just a frame? Maybe I don't need to be looking for meaning here. Hello. Oh, you're fun. Yeah. Is a pool. Uh huh. Soundtrack is a lot more live than uh, than I'm used to, which sometimes makes me a little nervous. I hope you can't drown. Yeah, the music's weird in here. Oh, I'm glad I got the fairy effect. This, I'm a little more okay with. Jellyfish, jellyfish. Okay, is this where I came in? There's a small rock. Mm. Okay, so I know I've hit the end of the world if I'm okay. Uh, hey, buddy. So there's no flying over that then. You don't want to talk. That's fine. Mm. Oh, hello. I don't really know where I'm where I'm going. Well, <sighs> just checking the recording time. It's good. Maybe I should take the exit. Fish. <laughs> Friendly. Yay! <laughs> This doesn't seem so bad. Now there's coral. And that's the edge of the world. Okay. So is there anything to see up here? Is this just a world boundary? Oops. 
sorry, but if you're not going to get out of my way, I guess it's time to introduce you. There we go. Oh, okay, so you're the way out. Like a big sofa. Well, now this feels like a razor head. This is a way through to Chocolate World by the looks of it. Admittedly, I think that video was significantly more popular than any of the other You Made Nikki video to, uh, videos I did. The one that had the. Uh, oh, I remember this. The one that had Chocolate World in the thumbnail, which. No, maybe I'll just hungry or something, huh? Vending machines. I guess that's just like a cinema, right? Hello? Don't know where this goes. Oh, it's... Oh! This goes back to town, doesn't it, eventually? This, this is familiar. This, not so much. Oh, I've already been here before. Because then this goes back to town. But through the other side, right, okay. Now, I know I got taken out of here on the bus. Next to you. Maybe we go and explore this. I'll, uh, one moment. <laughs> 